What's up guys, Axis here and today I'm going to be doing my the first episode of my new modelling series which is going to be going on for a week so there's going to be seven episodes of this uh, they're progressively going to get more difficult and more complex in the techniques I'm going to be using so obviously for day one this is going to be the simplest um, tutorial that you're going to get out of this uh, and even if you're kind of experienced relatively in Cinema 4D uh, maybe some of the techniques in this uh, might help you, you might not know them, or you know, it might speed up your workflow a little bit. So, uh, here we've got a kind of conductive uh, little electrical thing majiggy that we're going to be building. Uh, it's relatively simple, but there's a lot of objects in here. It may look complex, but really, uh, when you break it down, it's not really that difficult. Uh, and basically, this entire series is just saying thanks for 10,000 subscribers, uh, which is a crazy number. Um, and I can like thank you guys enough for the support you've been giving me over the past uh, few years So yeah, I hope this helps you out. So let's get right into it. All you're going to do now is create a new uh, Cinema 4D document by going file new or command N or control N And first off I'm going to be creating the pipe. So we're going to go into the first uh, the front view by clicking up here And then we're going to click here to go into the front view I'm going to go and hold on the spline, go to Linear. Uh, we're going to click here for the, the spline point to be set. Set another point up here. And what you can do is you can drag these back and forth using the uh, x-axis control. And I'm going to grab this and drag it up a bit. Click just before the middle, which is this uh, big uh, green line here. And I'm going to drag this down until it looks roughly centered. Don't worry if it's not completely centered because we can fix this uh, just after uh, we've created all this. So now that we've got that, what we can do is we can fix all these points. If we click up here on the move tool, I'm going to be using E sometimes for a shortcut and also T to get into the scale tool, but I'm going to be using the scale tool right now. Make sure in the points mode selection, I'm going to click here and down here in the position, we're going to select all of the uh, uh, text inside this X box Oops. and then we are going to select this one up here and from here we're going to paste this with control V and then we're going to get the Y copy all of that click on the last point and we're going to paste that in there and as you can see all of these are completely uh, straight now and what we can do is we can drag and put this inside a symmetry. Make sure you're holding Alt. And there we go. Now what we can do is we can click on this point here. And we can go to uh, chamfer. And from here we just drag. And then you can go into the radius and turn this up manually. Which is a much quicker way of doing it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the uh, symmetry object. Uh, click C right click, go to select children, click C once again and go to connect objects and delete. And then from here what we can do is we can click the live selection, select both these points, right click, join segment and there we have our first pipe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these and then drag these down just for the sake of this model. I might have to even adjust it slightly more afterwards. I'm going to hold alt, go to sweep hold shift and go to circle and then we're going to use the uh, the scale tool by clicking T scale this down by just dragging to about here and I'm going to hide this for now by unchecking that go into the front uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to in fact no, I'm just going to go into the normal selection in the normal view go into uh, cylinder turn down the height and then I'm going to turn down the radius slightly and we're going to create a little uh, bit for the, the pipe to go into. So we're going to click C to make this editable. Go into select, loop selection and then go into the polygon selection. And then click on the top of here to select all these polygons. Now we're going to go into the move tool by clicking E or clicking up there. Hold control while dragging up on the Y. And then we're going to click T to scale this in. We're going to repeat what I'm doing here. Just drag this down slightly. And just drag this in slightly. And then hold control and drag this down. 
and I'm going to look inside here and drag in. There we go. Now what we can do is we can hold all and click on the hypernerbs or the uh, subdivision surface as it's called in the newer versions. Um, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this edge selection tool, double click here and I'm going to go to bevel. I'm going to turn the bevel, oh, in fact no I'm not going to bother doing that so I don't want to add connect objects so it'll make it too complicated for this tutorial. Um, so I'm just going to get this and I'm going to drag this over here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up so there's a little bit of space underneath it. And then what we can do is we can drag this inside a symmetry object by holding Alt. Now if I zero this X position out and drag the inside objects out like so, what we can do is we can turn on the sweep again just to make sure that the circle is small enough. I'm going to turn this down a few centimeters and then we're going to create these little uh, holder boxes and how we do that is we go and get a tube object, scale this down to T and I'm going to go into the object, turn up the inner, inner radius, turn down the height and then I'm going to go into fill it, select radius, put it to 1 and then from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this with Control c Control v turn up outer, turn up inner radius and then turn down the height and make sure radius is still on zero uh, and now from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a circle or a sphere object, scale this down to T click C, click on the uh, model tool up here, model selection and then click on the Y and drag that down to flatten it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and get a cylinder, turn down the radius to around 2, and then I'm going to make the orientation Z. Z or Z minus doesn't really matter. And then we're going to go and put this in an array by holding Alt and clicking Array. Drag the radius to 0, and there we go, we've got our little object here. So I'm going to select all of these and do Alt G to group them. I'm going to call this holder, holder oh, mini for this one, and pipe, there we go, and I'm going to put this inside a symmetry, and I'm going to go into the front view, and I'm going to drag these all the way out here, until they're in the center, there we go. And then we're going to drag this whole entire symmetry object down slightly, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate these mini holders. I'm going to call that holder, duplicate that. I'm going to go into the coordinates, go to the Y rotation, and we're going to go 90 on the rotation. Drag this over here, go inside, click on the subdivision surface, click T and scale these all the way down, like so. And from here, I'm going to drag these back slightly. And I'm going to scale this down more so they fit onto the object. And if we drag up the uh, Y scale, then we can make these longer. Here we go. That looks good. Uh, and now we can create the little pipes. Again, one more pipes. So we're going to go into linear. We're going to go into the top. Oops. Go into the top view. And we're going to go here. I'm going to click up here and then drag this down. Drag this across. Drag this forward. And I'm just going to. I'm just, this isn't really going to work out the way I'm doing it, but. Basically, I'm just going to do a bunch of steps, and then I'm going to drag this back on the uh, Z. And then if we zoom in, we can try and match up these. There we go, that's looking good. Go into the front perspective view. We're going to make sure we're on point selection. Click Control or Command A, right click, go chamfer once again. And we're going to chamfer these slightly. And I'm going to click off. Hold Alt, go to Sweep again, hold Shift, go to Circle, which will make it a child of the Sweep. Hold T, 
and then scale down the circle and then I'm just going to go ahead and see what this is looking like I'm going to have to bring this down on the Y axis and then we're going to also have to bring down the uh, circle size for me it's going to be 2 it might vary for you and then we're going to put this inside a symmetry and it's not completely symmetrical so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero out this and then I'm going to zoom in on this one and then select the sweep and then turn up the X position or turn down in my case I'm going to call that large pipe and that's the basis of the model now all we have to do is add two symmetry objects so we're going to select all of these hold alt and G and we're going to call this object and we're going to hold alt go into symmetry and we're going to go uh, XZ and then what I can do is I can go into the move tool drag this up on the, on the uh, Y and as you can see that's the reason I made the pipe slightly longer than the holders so they could connect like that and then from here we can add our final symmetry object by holding alt on the original symmetry and that will make it a parent of the other symmetry I'm going to go to ZY and I think that's the right one I'll just mix them up oh yeah it's just XY and then we're going to click the symmetry inside of it and drag out the Z until these are together there we go and there we have it that's the full object it's very simple um, so remember to check back tomorrow for the next tutorial uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions please post them in the comments uh, and if you know any of the problems that people are having and know a fix please uh, also uh, comment and help those people out because you know I'm not just some 3D guru, I'm not very good at modelling, so if anybody out there can help them, then that would be greatly appreciated. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.